Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Welcome to The Cutting Edge. It's February 2022. This month, we continue our journey with learning how to play successfully with backing tracks and developing your lead guitar soloing ideas. Now, last month, I added over 30 new rhythm tracks. They were all 12 bar blues in the keys of A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Three folders. One had 12 bar blues and it was slow blues. And then the other two were up tempo. Each of these 12 bar blues progressions has a different feel to it. Some of the tracks have what's called a quick four and some do not. So you may wonder what's a quick four? In a 12 bar blues progression, you have the one chord, the chord that you start on, and some 12 bar blues go to the four chord for the second measure, then back to the one chord for measures three and four. That's called a quick four. Another variation of that is staying on the one chord for the first four measures. These three sets of rhythm tracks are great to practice your pentatonics to. I added a 10 video series to the backing track section. It's the first folder. And what I've done is I took in the key of A, the slow 12 bar blues, and I talked about, you know, what makes blues blues? What is a 12 bar blues progression? Why dominant seventh chords? What are substitution chords? Uh, how to practice your pentatonic with a rhythm track? And then the last two videos, video number nine and 10, those are longer. And I really give examples on playing your pentatonics to the rhythm tracks and then some lead ideas. You know, how do these pentatonics come alive and really turn into real guitar solos? If you're just starting out and some of this is a mystery, watch all of those videos. If you've been playing for a while, but maybe you have some questions, maybe your theory's a little bit spotty. If you're really looking for ideas or want to figure out how to make the most of these rhythm tracks and, and practicing your pentatonics, watch the whole series. Towards the end, like the last quarter of 2021, I had a series called Modes Made Easy. I've just gotten all of the rhythm tracks for all of those songs that we worked on in all seven keys. Plus there's some new rhythm tracks there. So I'm in the process of turning those MP3s into videos with the chord chart. You'll also be able to download the PDF and access the MP3. Some of those have already gone up, but I'm in the process of putting up a lot more. There's eight folders with seven different videos at each one. If you really want to step out and step into the modes, these rhythm tracks will really let you do that. One more thing, please keep in mind that whatever you're playing, if you don't feel it, nobody feels it. And that is such a true statement. It's not a race. It's about playing each and every note with feel, okay? So make sure that you have your roadmap down with your pentatonics. Practice your pentatonics to rhythm tracks, but when you play your finger exercises, practice those to a metronome. You'll get the most out of them. That's really where you get your muscle memory and your, you know, the coordination between your left and right hand. Those three finger exercises, and there's a million that you can pick from, but those three finger exercises are what I've used my entire career. So they really work. So have a great month. Anybody that needs a private lesson, you can sign up for one lesson or we can work together weekly through the monthly plan. So I'm here. I also teach via Zoom. If you ever want a one-on-one -on -one live guitar lessons by kellyritchie.com, you can find me there, okay? So post a video if you have anything that you'd like to share in the forum. Have a great month. And again, and again, and again, if you don't feel it, nobody feels it. So play hard, have fun, and I'll see you next month.